I'd like to talk about knives for big game hunting, specifically whitetail deer. Uh, the first thing I want to discuss is are steel types that you can get for your knife. Uh, there's carbon steel and stainless steel. Uh, any good quality cutlery grade steel is going to get the job done. Uh, in the carbon steels, you can get A2, O1, D2, 1095, 5160. There are a few, a few of the carbon steels that are available. Stainless steels, good old 440C. Uh, any of the CPM steels will work well. Uh, there's some good Japanese steels out there also. Uh, BG10 is one that comes to mind. Blade shapes is another thing that you want to look at when you're picking out a hunting knife. Three of the most common are the clip point, like on this buck 119. Probably the most popular is a drop point, like on this Randall Model 25. Another drop point on this Dozier Classic. And then the third most common would be the upset upswept skinner like on this uh, buck 118 personal there's a few others that are out there there's some semi skinners uh, different knives have semi skinners um, one of my knives that I make that's a semi skinner is shaped like this usually the semi skinner dips down along the spine and comes back up and it's a straight line to the point Another one that I make uh, is a modified drop point on this mini Tusker. Straight spine and drops down to the point with a straight line. Another one that's not too common for hunting knives is a spear point. This is used more for bushcraft, woodcraft style knives. And a spear point, the point runs right down along the center line of the blade. That's what uh, most spear points look like. Now two that you don't really see too often in hunting knives is a Warncliffe. Most Warncliffe Warren knives are uh, utility knives, design, utility knife designs where the, it's got a straight edge right to the point. On this particular one, I added about an eighth inch curve up to the point, which gives it a little bit of belly. Works very well for gutting and skinning. Another one is a sheep's foot blade. I do a modified sheep's foot on my UNK model. A straight line comes up with about a quarter inch up to the point, gives you a, about a quarter inch belly. Nice strong point. This is probably the best design blade I've ever used for deer hunting uh, in my 30 years of hunting. I've used all different types of blade designs and this, I used this past fall on three deer and uh, it's become my favorite out of all of them. The other thing I wanna talk about are handle materials. These knives over here, they're stag, they're stacked leather, you can get wood. Um, the problem with natural materials is that they're unstable and they can do things you don't want them to do like shrink and crack and swell. Probably the best choice would be my Carta or G10. These materials are nice, the natural materials they'll work, but with the, the uh, Micarta and G10 there's a little less worry involved. Um, they're very stable, man-made materials, and uh, you don't have to worry about them at all. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about is ergonomics. When you're picking a hunting knife out, you want to be sure that it's comfortable in your hand. You want to uh, be able to hold that knife because when you're using it for game, processing game, you're going to be all over the place with that knife as far as your grip. You're going to hold it like this, you're going to have it upside down, you're going to be choking up on the blade for skinning. You're going to be all over this knife in different positions, different grips. So you want to be sure when you pick out a knife that it's comfortable in your hand. And you can do that, simulate it, by moving it around in your hand. See how it feels. But you're really not going to know until you actually get out in the field and use the knife. 
that's when you're really going to find out. And unfortunately, it's a little bit late by then because you've already purchased the knife and used it. But if you can get a pretty good idea by holding the knife before you buy it, sometimes you can't because you're actually ordering, you might be ordering a knife online or whatever, and you're not going to really know. But that's really the best way to know whether a knife's going to be good for you as a hunting knife. Um, you and, and the other thing too would be size. Now, for whitetail deer, you don't really need anything large. I mean, you can use any size you're, that you would like, um, but the most practical would be something in a two and a half to four inch blade length works out the best. You can use whatever you want. If you want to use your 10 inch camp knife, it'll work, but it's not very practical. So size is really important. And as far as um, how many knives to carry when you're hunting, I usually carry two. I like the smaller knife, like the UNK for gutting and skinning. And then when it comes to uh, splitting the pelvic bone, I like a larger knife, about a four inch blade. It doesn't have to be very long. Thickness and width is more important. Now, the mistake a lot of people make is when they go to split the pelvic bone, they stick it in point first. And that's not really a good idea because the point on, on most knives is the weakest part of the blade. What I normally do is take the edge, lay it along the bone, put hand pressure on it and rock it back and forth until I hear it crack. Once it cracks, you can stop what you're doing, take the hind quarters and pull it apart until you pop that pelvic bone open. And it's not really a bone, it's hard cartilage. And um, it'll come right open once you put some pressure and you got that crack in there, it'll come right open and you can get that bladder out. So these are uh, knives that I have used and and they work um my personal preference is like i said is the modified sheep's foot and i do like to carry two knives that way if the heavier work you know if i'm going to split bone or whatever i've got the bigger knife for that if you're hunting really large animals like elk and moose you're definitely going to need the larger knife to quarter the animal up so i hope this um Helps, it will help people out in uh, selecting a knife uh, for big game hunting. If uh, you're interested in any of, the, any of the knives that I make, you can visit my website at www.gossmanknives.com. Um, I have a lot of experience with hunting, so I know what goes into making a good hunting knife. So, hope you enjoyed the video. I tried to have it up here where I hunt at for a nice uh, background, and I hope this will help you uh, in your selecting, selection of a hunting knife.